All right, good morning. My hair's looking a little crazy, but it's because I'm gonna show you guys how I apply my bandanas, how I put them on. I got asked uh, quite a few weeks back, a couple people asked me to do it, and I get asked constantly on YouTube as well. But I already have a video on that. It's pretty old, I should do an updated one. Um, so it's no secret that I love bandanas. <laughs> I have many. I wear them a lot. A couple different styles, but I'm going to show you the one that I wear more often. And I started wearing bandanas more when I have um, when I started getting alopecia because I started losing my hair. And I found that this was a really great way and very cute way to hide the bald spots. I have one right now. It's it's getting it's growing in a little bit, um, but. Back then, I lost hair pretty much everywhere, which is why I started wearing them more. I was trying to do this video in a live, but it never connected. I tried a couple times, so we're just going to have to make it work with this. All right, so the bandanas that I get, I get them at Walmart. I have an old school one. It used to be my husband's when he was a teenager. I love that one. It's super, super soft, great quality. These, though, were a dollar. All of these were about a dollar, most of them. Some of them I got them at the swap meet. Some of them I got them at Walmart. And the ones that I get at Walmart are not as soft initially, but they do soften up and they just become a little bit better as time goes on, as you wash them, you know, and all of that stuff. The way that I apply my bandanas is just a little bit different than most. The end result is the same, um, but I do add an extra step because my, my head back here is pretty flat. My mom didn't give me, or she didn't give you a lot of dummy time. So my head back here is pretty flat, which can create a problem because then the bandanas rise up easily for me. So I have to add a little faux bump. For the style that I wear the most, I am going to use three bandanas. You don't have to do this if you have long hair. If you already have a, a nice bump going on back here, uh, you don't have to add these additional steps. You could just stick to the last step, but because my head is flat, uh, we're gonna do this. Okay, so I grabbed a bandana, folded it in half, and then fold it in half again, fold it in half again, and then I fold it in three. This is gonna be my faux bump. The second bandana, <clears throat> this is why I wanted to do this live instead of this way. Mine are pretty wrinkled because I, I wear them quite a bit. So I'm going to fold it this way. You see that? Right in the center, right there. And I'm going to start off by applying it this way. So you see that? Little peak right here. And Okay, so I'm just going to tie it once and then again. I like it pretty tight, so you guys can see right there. Here's the knot back here. I'm then gonna grab my little faux bump you can also use a donut. I've used a donut in the past. And then my little peak here, so I tucked it under. You see that? Tucked it under, and then I'm gonna tuck the little peak right under that knot. So it holds it, it holds it together. So now I have a little bit of, a little bit more mass back here, which is what I want and what I need. I don't like putting bananas on without a bump because it, I feel like it looks very weird. All right. Okay, next bandana. I'm gonna fold it almost the same way, but the peak is not gonna come down as far down. I want it a little higher. Just a little tip here, iron your bandanas, don't be lazy like me. Do what I say, not what I do. All right, I'm just trying to get it positioned there. Hmm. So I am going to fold it that way. Just bring it up so you guys can see how how much space I'm giving myself. Because I added a bump, I now need a little, a bit more additional space. And this guy, I'm gonna flip it over. See that in the back there? And lay the folded part facing my head. See that? And then bring this up and pull this peak right here through this way just kind of place it I like it in the center because I have OCD <laughs> okay I thought I hit record I didn't 
<laughs> all right let's do this again okay so this is the back this is sticking out it's not a big deal and I'm just going to fold this not fold it but pull it up and then this little peak is gonna come down this way okay try to center it because my LCD will go crazy as best as I can and these two little bunny ears see that I'm just going to tie it once first. I like it pretty tight. If you do it really, really tight and you wear it like that all day, you can get a headache. So just keep that in mind. And then this little peak right here, I'm going to put it over that little knot right there, like that. Make sure it's tight. And then I'm going to fold my little bunny ears again. Let's tie it up. Alrighty, now that we are here, I'm going to tuck this guy in so you can't see anything. And then I bring out my little earlobes. This guy, this is when you adjust certain things. You want to do it tight, but not too tight because you want to be able to play around with this front part. Now, you can leave your bunny ears out because mine are wrinkled. <laughs> I hide my laziness. So I tuck it right in this area. I tuck these in. And then you can play around with this guy. This side, you can bring it out more if you want, more of the bandana, create a little peak. Or you can tuck more of the fabric in. And then I scoot it up a little bit because I want some of my hair to show. And sometimes I like this is going to be a long ass story. All right. And then what I like to do sometimes, because I like, I like to take a look at what it's looking like back here. I think I want a little bit more of that peak. So I'm going to grab the fabric here and just gonna pull it a little, just a little bit. and adjust as you like. It still rises up on me a little bit, but this holds it together longer and more than if I would not add this additional step because I have, <laughs> I don't have a bump back here. There's nothing really holding the bandana down. Dude, holy hell, I picked the wrong place to do this video. First of all, the angle is terrible. And it's fucking hot in here. <laughs> okay, that's it. So, I love wearing this, especially when I have not had a haircut. Like, right now. <laughs> and sometimes I'll bring it further out, like, out this way towards my face to hide my beastly sideburns if I have not had a little trim. But today, you know, I'm going to embrace the, the bush, the side burn bush. That is, don't, don't take it the wrong way. Okay. And that's it. Am I going too fast? I love wearing bandanas. They're comfortable. They're easy. A lot of days I'm very, very lazy with my hair, having to style my hair. And if I don't want to bother with it, I throw on a bandana and I look. All right, I went ahead and put the sweater on that I'm going to be wearing today, which says, ready for Friday. It is Friday. Why am I wearing this sweater? <laughs> Point is, I bought this sweater at Walmart. I friggin' love it. Look at the little, little spots. It's so adorable. Got this angle. Which is uh, why I like having different colors, because I can wear them with, black sweat I love sweaters so you will find me in sweats and a sweater majority of the time because I'm a lazy kind of girl but I still like to look nice you know and I feel like this dresses up pretty much any lazy look and I love it so I hope you guys found this video helpful if you didn't I'm really sorry I, I hope that <laughs> You find, found it at least a little bit helpful. But look at how cute. 